it's time to go on a Sydney train's adventure time. We'll see historic museum pieces which are still in action, and also high-speed freight trains. Let's do it. Oh, good afternoon. This is Gloria, your conductor speaking. Welcome to the Sydney train service between Hornsby and Barrera. This service is again running late, so the 405X Hornsby is now the 445 Express. Please be reminded to stay seated for the comfort of all other passengers. The next stop is Asquith, which is having huge amounts of high-rise redevelopment happening. Maybe that's going to help pack out these trains. Also be reminded that this train is fitted with security cameras, so I can see you, but you can't see me. Mmm, I think I'm in for a show. Ugh, glory again, sorry for the interruption. If you look to your right, you will see double-decker trains. These are being phased out due to new, improved, smaller tunnels being made on the Northwest Rail Link. The future is single-decker trains, and let's not argue about that. These trains carry less passengers, and more importantly, cost far less money to make. Anyway, if the single-decker trains are packed out, you can always drive your car to work. I don't see problems, I only see solutions. Oh, glory again. Of interest to your right is the Hornsby Maintenance Depot. This depot opened in 1928 and was one of four depots built under the Bradfield Electrification Plan. John Bradfield was an engineering visionary who thought big, but sadly Bradfield's grand vision for the Sydney Trains network was only partially built. And because of this today we suffer dearly for it. Oh, don't get me started. Oh, glory again. The driver's just informed me the latest high-speed train is about to pass. It's a 1982 XPT based on a 70s British design. Oh, and it's so good to see our museum pieces are so well maintained. At least this one can never be fitted with a square boiler. This is a special announcement. Can the two children who are playing up in carriage 3 please desist? Your activities are spoiling the trip for the other passengers on the train. Even though you can't see me, I can clearly see you. And it doesn't matter where you move to, I can still see you. One wonders where your parents are. They'd be disgusted in seeing what's going on here. Ugh, while I'm doing crowd control, let's look at the creature comforts. On Sydney trains, the seats are clean and provide a firm ride. If blue is your colour, you'll feel right at home here. The windows are large and completely scratch graffiti free. Well, at least for today. Anyway, it's always a beautiful vista of movement and comfort on Sydney trains. In case of emergency, ugh, and there'll never be one, you must listen to exactly what I tell you and follow exactly what I ask you to do. There are little arrows along the ground under the seat to help you find an exit. If the train has rolled over in an accident, you will find these arrows on the roof. If someone tries to steal your iPhone while making a video in this train, there are emergency help points so you can speak directly to me. And please, no personal questions. Ugh. Oh, we've reached our destination. Welcome to Barara. All change, please. This is a terminating train. All change. And hopefully next year I'll pass my promotion. I only failed it four times so far and I'll become a driver. Because I want to be at the pointy end where I can push the levers and control the train. Ugh, but mind you, I'm still getting my head around if that's a red or green signal. Ugh. Anyway, I heard there's a massive freight train coming. Let's take a look. Oh, well obviously the train's taken off without me while I'm videoing this massive freight train. The point of this video is to tell you about a YouTube channel that Trains Extreme put me onto. This YouTube channel is perfect if you love train spotting and it's all about Sydney trains. The channel's called Sydney Trains Vlogs. I've never spoken to this YouTuber, I don't think he's ever come over to my channel, but I'm certainly impressed with what he's getting up to. 
Anyway, I hope this video has you thinking more about trains in Australia. If only our leaders would take rail infrastructure more seriously. Ugh. Thanks for watching and bye for now.